Today let us talk about squint or strabismus which in layman terms is known as cross eyes. I am Dr. Smita and I am the pediatric ophthalmology and strabismus consultant at Vision Eye Centers New Delhi. In olden days it was thought that this condition is a sign of good luck. However, that is actually not true. Our eye movements are controlled by extraocular muscles that move the eyes up, down, in, out and also rotate the eyes towards and away from the nose. When the eye muscles are in sync, our eyes look straight ahead. However, if there is any muscle imbalance, what happens is that while one eye looks straight, the other eye may deviate inward, outward, upward or downward. When both the eyes look straight at an object, the brain processes signals and combines the images from the eyes into a single image. This is known as binocular single vision and this helps in gauging depth of objects. This is known as 3D vision or stereopsis. What happens in squint is that because the eyes are aligned in different directions, two different images are formed and then the brain is unable to process these images into one. Children develop a mechanism to ignore the image of the squinting eye and this leads to development of a condition called lazy eye or amblyopia. But if squint develops in an adult, the patient may experience double vision. As a squint specialist, the commonly asked question is if we need to treat the squint at all or not. So as I explained earlier, if we leave the squint untreated, depth perception or 3D vision will not develop in a child and this may hamper the child's professional life later. Squint also affects the physical appearance of a person. Therefore, even a cosmetic correction of the squint can improve the social interaction of the child. In adults, surgery is performed for similar reasons and also for double vision that is hampering the daily activities of the patient. Many treatment options are available for squint correction. These include spectacles, patching, prisms, vision therapy, orthoptic exercises or surgery. The treatment is usually customized depending on the type of squint, duration and angle of deviation. In some patients, just by prescribing correct spectacle power, the squint gets corrected. While in some patients, pencil push-up exercises and dot card exercises improve the squint. Patching the good eye not only helps in correcting the lazy eye, but also improves the squint in some cases. If the non-surgical methods are unable to correct the deviation, then eye muscle surgery has to be performed. In this surgery, the muscles are adjusted by either weakening or tightening them and this gives good results. We at Vision Eye Centers have a team of trained strabismus surgeons who perform routine as well as complicated squint surgeries. We also have the latest vision therapy and orthoptic exercises available at our centers.